some yummy yum yums. Would you like some yummy yum yums? I know you don't want to leave there. That's okay. Oh, little sweet girl. Look, some yummy yum yums for you. I know you want it and you should have it. So let me move this little one out of the way. There you go. Sweetheart. Okay. Good morning, everybody. So I am just getting together their breakfast. Thanks for all the likes, you guys. I appreciate all that. All the tapping does me good. It shares our live all over the place and it makes it so that more people learn about kittens. Oh no, we have a kitten in the food. <clears throat> That's no good. Is everybody having their morning coffee? No, nope, not selling. These kittens are only up for adoption. So I don't sell, I don't buy or sell animals. I feel like they're, um, they're special, you know? They, they're not property to be owned. Their family members, you know? So, good morning, everybody. Thank you for all the hearts. I appreciate that. I'm just getting ready here with their formula to give them some breakfast. They're doing really well. I weighed them last night and they were all, um, I would say like around 275. Today is their two week birthday. I can't believe it's been two weeks. It feels like, um, in some ways it feels like forever. <laughs> in other ways it feels like um, it's only been a blink of an eye. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having trouble with the nipples thing. Hang on. Let's see. Maybe there's a better way. Maybe there's a better way. I will find it. If there's a better way, I will find it. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a nipple getter on her, stayer on her, I think. Cool. 
let's try this thing. It's like a, I found a nipple adapter. So I've been having trouble with these nipples coming off and um, it's not fun. So if I put this nipple adapter thing on there, it makes it tighter. Look at that. S problem solved. All right. So let us look here at these kittens. Let's see how they're doing. Yep, they're hungry little hippos. Thanks for all the likes, you guys. That's fantastic. Wow, we're already at 840. That's excellent. Thanks for the hearts. Oh no, we have a kitten in the food. Oh no. Okay, Mama. You're going to have to come out and finish the rest out here. Because they're just like a little bit too, too much, you know? Look at these little sleepy guys. Okay, I bring this guy. All right. Oh, so many hearts. So many hearts. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm coming in. I'm coming in, you guys, so they're in the bathtub, right? Because it's kind of the safest for them. It helps keep them kind of contained. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit hard for me to squish into, but it's not about me. Hi, Mama. Let's see. This is Mama Caramel. She's a foster cat. She was living on the streets until a few weeks ago when she got caught by the neighborhood people and they called every single rescue and shelter and nobody would take her in. There was no room at the inn for Caramel. And I'm telling you, she was so big. She was like a watermelon. Come here, sweetheart. And so I couldn't say no. They phoned me and they know that I have experience with pregnant mamas. And so I said, okay, you know what? I can do this. Even though I was not working with the rescue, I was taking a break from rescuing because I had to rethink my, my uh, affiliations. And um, I just decided to do it myself because I couldn't leave these kittens to be born out on the streets. They would have died. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, and it's cold here, especially in the winter. It can get to like minus, you know, 35 Celsius, and it's really freaking cold. Like, I don't even go outside. Seriously. If these little kittens were born outside, they wouldn't have made it. So, and there's nine of them, you guys. There's nine. Nine. This is like the biggest litter I've ever assisted with which is kind of crazy. Well, thanks, Canpack. I don't feel like I'm kind. I just feel like this is like my purpose in life is to help cats. So it's my honor to do it. Like, I feel like I couldn't not do it because it makes me feel, I don't know, complete as a person. I know that everybody has their purpose in life and this is my purpose. And for a long time, I didn't know what it was. And then I realized that the more that I do this, the more calm and peaceful I feel, even when things are crazy. Because there is definitely moments of crazy when these nine kittens are all yelling at the same time. And, you know, mama's pooping outside the litter box by accident. and. I'm trying to, you know, keep everything under control. <laughs> but you know what? Even in those crazy moments, everything is as it should be. And I know that, so 
it's like I know that this is my purpose. Hi. Hi. I need to get one of those um, cameras that sit on your chest so that I can um, not have to hold it. Um, they're whiny because they're kittens. That's what kittens do. They make noises. They don't know how to say, I want this, this, or this. So they just say, wow. It usually means they're hungry. They're lonely. They want some attention. Or they have to go to the bathroom. And right now I'm pretty sure it means they're hungry. So I am going to give them some yummy yums. Yummy yum yums. Yummy yum yums. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Let's get this little cloth here. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see them and I can see the chat too because it's really hard for me to see the chat when it's um, up on the counter like that. So I'm gonna, oh man, I lost the nipple. I'm gonna try that again. Guess this adapter thing doesn't work after all. Darn it. Oh no, and now I can't get it off the nipple. There we go. Yeah, they cry and get everything. They are so... Uh, I am wrapped around their fingers. Honestly, they're like... Right now, they're my world. So... That's totally okay. That's how it should be. Look at them all crawling all over me. Hey Alexa, a little quieter please. What are you guys doing? Look at this you guys. They're crawling into my lap. They're so mobile now. Come here. Let me give you some foods. Yeah. Would you like some yummy yums? Yeah. Okay. Hi, okay, okay, I'll give you some yummies. This is Bing Su. And I'm gonna give her some breakfast. Okay, put that in your mouth. Yum. Is that yummy? Good job. That's some good eating. She was hungry. No wonder she was yelling. She just sucked down this whole thing. Holy man. Oh. I'm gonna have to get some new syringes that fit these nipples better because these ones don't fit for some reason. Good job, sweet girl. Was that yummy in your tummy? That was so good. You did a good job. She just ate all of that. Oh, she latched on and just sucked that down. So now, the next thing to do is to burp her. Oops. Let me make this a bit better. Okay. And I burp her like this. You just gently tap because um, because I mix up the formula and I kind of have to mix it really well so that there's no lumps in it. Um, yeah, I'll show you how I feed them. Oh, good burp. She just had a burp. So there's always little air bubbles, right? And then the air bubbles get into the babies and it can be painful for them. It's like if you have gassy in your tummy, right? So I just kind of burp them so that they don't feel bad or uncomfortable at all. And then the next thing I do is even though Mama is here, hold on, I'm gonna put this on my feet. There, that's better. Even though Mama is here, I have, I'm gonna give her a little bit of a potty break because Mama has nine babies and it's a lot. So this is how you stimulate them to go potty. You just get a tissue and you softly rub their parts 
And see, she's peeing. You can't see because she keeps putting her tail in the way. But you see? And this is a small contribution to Mama's happiness because they eat it, right? That's what they do. When Mama has to do this to all nine of them, she ends up having to eat it. And that isn't probably not that pleasant, right? I am in Canada. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. All right, so Bingsu is done. Maybe we'll do all the gray ones today first. Okay. Bingsu, do you need more? Are you still hungry? Oh no, she's quite vocal. Come here, sweet girl. You, are you just yelling for the sake of yelling? And this is cupcake. And I will show you. Oh, Edmonton. Cool, you guys, I'm in Edmonton, Edmonton, Alberta. All right, I'm gonna show you how I feed them, okay? Hold on, let me put this on. Flip. All right, now. Oh, crap. I gotta get a better setup. That is a fact, okay. So, this is the baby. This is the baby, and this is the syringe. And I kind of get it near their mouth. And Cupcake is gonna be fussy, of course. And sometimes they latch on, and sometimes they don't. And even if they don't, I still give them some food because it's, you know, fussy babies are still needing to eat. So, I gotta give them a little bit of food, even though they might act like they're not hungry. All right. There we go. Thank you for sharing the live, you guys. It's awesome. Okay, there we go. So, this is Cupcake and she is a princess. So even though, yeah, even though they might seem like they're not hungry, I still give them all a little bit because it's like, for example, if there's nine of them, right? And if three of them are biggest and they're always pushing the other ones off of the nipples and they're full and they don't want any, then they're going to keep on just getting all of pushing the other ones off of the nipples. But if they're if I feed them and they're full, then they might give the other ones a chance on the nipples, right? I want the, all of them to get some mama's milk. So they all have to have this is like not mama's milk, so it's not as good as mama's milk, but they all have to have formula so that they're, you know, you don't, you don't have three of them getting full on mama's milk and the rest of them just getting full on formula. They all have to have both. It's just the way it is, because otherwise there's going to be, uh, the tr nutrition is going to be unbalanced across the board. Do you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense. Plus, I'm giving Mama a break. Exactly. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You can adopt Maya. They are going to be all up for adoption. So in about uh, two and a half months, they'll be spayed and neutered. And they'll all have their vaccinations and their microchips and then they will be will be doing will be opening um, uh, applications in a few weeks oh thank you butter thank you for the rose um, in a few weeks we'll open applications so you can if you live in Toronto if you can come here um, I don't ship cats I don't ship animals 
So I will be here in Edmonton and you have to come and meet them because it's not just about you wanting the cat. We also have to make sure the cat wants you. So Maya, if you are going to come to Edmonton, then it's definitely an option, right? But if you can't come to Edmonton, then I highly recommend you go to your local rescue because for sure they have kittens that need adopting. So get inspired by these guys and then go to your local rescue and ask if they have some kittens that you can either foster or adopt, right? That's the best way to do it. And I like to foster um, because then you get an idea of what that kitten's personality is like and then you can kind of get... Um, be sure if that's the right one for you and if you foster fail then that's great that means that that's the one for you right oh there's a good burp honey there's a good burp you had a good burp that's a sweet girl okay let's see if you need to go potty okay cupcake okay good girl oh no we have them we have babies crawling all over. They're all like, they know that it, I have some food. So they all want some food. Good job. Good peeing. Yes, that's a lot of pee. Yeah. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me get some more tissue. You were saving all that up for me, weren't you? Yeah, okay, hold on, let me dry you off. Hold on, little girl. Yeah. Well done. All done? Yeah. All done. Okay. You my good girl? Are you my good girl? Yeah. You are. Are you my little princess? My little princess cupcake? You are. Yeah, that's my good baby. Yeah, that's my good baby. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, it's time for me to help your brothers and sisters, okay? I'm going to help them out. Oh, did you have another burp? You had another burp in you. Yes, you did. Yeah, hi, Mama. Mama wants some attention, too. Hi. Hi, Caramel. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for all the likes, you guys. This is fantastic. I'm already at 4K. You guys are rock stars. Wow. Okay. Can you guys keep track for me? I've had Bingsu and Cupcake, and I've got, like, these oranges crawling in my lap. So I guess I have to do some oranges next. Do you see this? So I'm pretty sure I have to do this one next because he just like came here. He's like, me next. I'm not even gonna give you the choice, he says. Okay, who are you? You are, he's a stripey. So this one looks like this is the other stripey. So this one is um, shortbread. This one is shortbread. And shortbread is the biggest out of all of these kittens. I weighed them last night and he was huge. He's over 300 grams. Like he's way bigger than everybody else. Come here. I know you don't need it, but you're having it. Good job. That's good. Okay, you won't latch on, hey? He does have to go to the bathroom, I can tell. Okay, I'm gonna potty him first because he's, his tummy is very um, hard and round, which means he's got, um, hold on, you have mouth crumbs as well. Boy, you are eating a lot, hey? Okay, he's being fussy. 
he needs the potty. So let's do that. Hi, Mama. Yeah. Okay, come here, little boy. Yeah, you fussy boy. Okay. You have to just be, try to be gentle when you do this, because if you rub too hard, it can give them like a rash. So just be very, very, very gentle when you're doing these little circles. And um, most of the time they'll pee, and every now and then you'll get the poop. And then it's like a mess, but that's okay, because that's part of it, right? Okay, you just need to wait a second, honey. Hold on. I know. Hold on. Big boy. Big, strong boy. Let me just dry you off. Yeah. Oh, you have more pee. You have more pee for me. So that's one way by turning them over, and the other way you can do it is like this. So, this little boy is finished. So now I'm gonna try and give him some more formula. Wait, I know you don't want it, but you're having it. Have you been eating all of mama's milk? Clearly, it shows on the scale. Thank you for the friendship necklace, Faye. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Okay, hold on. Shortbread. Shortbread, it was gonna be called Shorty, but now I call him, he's the big guy. Oh, thanks Shelly B. Thank you for the heart me. You guys are great. Um, so all of the gifts that I get, he needs it. Um, yeah, so he needs it because, um, like I just kind of explained it, so they all eat off mama and he's the biggest, so he for sure pushes the other ones off of the nipple. So if he's always getting full with mama's milk and taking all the time at the milk bar, then the other ones aren't getting as much mama's milk. They're having to rely on me for, for formula. And obviously formula is not as good for them. I mean, it's, it's fine, but it's not. Mama's milk is the best thing. And so then he will be constantly relying on mama's milk. So he pushes them off the nipple because he can, because he's the biggest. And then he's getting all the mama's milk and the other babies have to have formula. That's not balanced. So I'm trying to fill him up, even if he thinks he's full, I'm trying to make him more full so that he won't go back to the milk bar soon. He'll, he'll, take, he'll take a break from the milk bar so the other ones can have some yummies. And look, he is actually eating. He's just stubborn because he's used to having the milk bar all the time. He's a little bit spoiled, that's why. He needs it because he's, he's just picky. He wants milk from mama, which is obviously gonna always be better, but I'm trying to, he needs to have both, just like everybody else. He's not special just because he's biggest. That's a good boy. You want some burps? Oh, you guys, we just hit 5K on the likes. Keep tapping. That's fantastic. That basically makes us more visible. So then we get more people that join us. And then I can stay on longer. And the more that you share this live, the more viewers I get. And then that way, it means that the algorithm keeps my live going so thank you so much there we go shortbread you're doing a good job yeah i did think you did a good job eating 
Do we have any more burps? Oh, thank you. Look at all these hearts. You guys are fan. They're fantastic, hey? Aren't they fantastic? Are you all done? Are you all done now? Do you have an orange cat river? Did you know most orange cats are males and only 20% of orange cats are female? Thank you, Miss John. Thank you for sharing the live. You guys are great. They're starting to get really feisty, so they're starting to play a lot. And it's really funny because they're, they're, I don't know, they're so silly now. No more burps. No more burps. Okay, sweetheart, I'm gonna put you down. He doesn't wanna go down, I can tell. Okay. Good job. I say thank you for watching all the people. Thank you. Oh, your Jojo is a female. That is so cool. Yeah, she's very rare. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. He's not so little. He's the biggest one of all. He's over 300 grams. When I weighed them yesterday, I couldn't believe it. I think it was like 301 grams. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. He likes his foods. Don't you, don't you shortbread. Do you know that I love you? Do you even know it? I even love you. So much. Yeah. You're a good boy. Thank you for eating and doing such a good job. Such a good boy. They're getting to be so interesting. So his name is Shortbread. They're all named after like sweet treats. Oh, we got one here. Who are you? Okay, so this is already Bingsu that was already eaten. So Bingsu's not gonna have some more. She's already had her food, but she just wants to have some attention. So now she's purring. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to give them up at, when they're ready to go to their new homes, but it's way easier than you would think because I know I always pick really, really amazing homes for them and the people are always so excited. And, um, hey, Tony Baloney. I just wanted to say Tony Baloney because that is such a funny name. Um, yeah, usually the people are so excited that I don't know. I kind of, I feel like, you know what? I'm going to get the other striped one. If I do that, then I got all both of the stripes. Um, yeah. So this one is cream puff. So I can't remember what I was actually saying now. I'm going to have some coffee. Oh yeah, it's hard to give them up, but it's harder to keep them because I want to rescue more. You know what I mean? Yeah, hi Vivi. Thanks for the follows, you guys. Hey, guess what I'm going to do? Listen to this. Once we hit 10,000 followers, we're going to have a live photo shoot, a Halloween photo shoot for the kittens. Isn't that cool? I'm very excited. A live photo shoot of the kittens and I guarantee you it's going to be super funny because they are so funny and wobbly and can you send, can I send you the breakfast? What is the breakfast? I don't know, but yes, you can send me the breakfast. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always hard, but it's it's like so rewarding when people come and they're like so excited. And if they have kids, they're like kids are crying and they're so happy. And you you know that that kitten is going to or cat is going to a home that's going to really love them and and they need them, right? Like these are all going to be therapy cats. Like I I raise cats that are very for the most part, most of the cats that come out of here are very in tune with people because I do a lot of um, this bottle feeding. Like I'm constantly in contact with these babies. There's four greys, just so you know. So they're very attached to human beings and they're very trusting and loving. And so they end up being really special cats that... Um, they're usually very affectionate and um, they love people. So why would I rob anybody else of that experience? Do you know what I mean? Aw, thank you, Faye. Yeah, like I just, I just think that cats are very healing to begin with, but for some reason the cats that come out of here, out of my, out of Kitty Castle, are just really, really exceptional um, healers. They're really, really good with people and they just seem to know like I've, I've had so much feedback from people who have adopted the cats that I've that I've raised and they've all said the same thing and it's just that these cats are just so different than other cats like they're very very human type cats and it's because I I pour all the love I have into them I don't have um you know a lot of other commitments in my life so this is what I do is just love these guys pretty much full time and it's a lot of love <laughs> there's a lot of love there thanks baby thank you so much there's a good boy there's a good boy that's some good eating okay they can be adopted 12 weeks. That's when they're going to be going up for adoption. They should generally, for the most part, in my opinion, kittens should stay with their mama and their brothers and sisters until 12 weeks because they need that extra time. Some people do it at two months. I feel like that's too early. That's my opinion. Everybody has different opinions. Thank you for the heart, me, Vivi. But two months is still too too early, and then sometimes they can get behavioral problems because still at two months, they're still learning how to um, be socialized. Like so, for example, when a kitten bites, if they bite another kitten, the other kitten will bite them back and say, "Hey, that that hurt." You know, if they bite too hard, they'll be like, "Oh," they'll yell. And the kitten learns, oh, that's not acceptable. But if they're taken away from their siblings and the kitten bites you, you're not going to bite them back. So they're not going to learn. They just, you're mad because this kitten's biting you all the time. And the kitten doesn't know because it thinks it's playing. And you don't have any way to train that kitten. So it's better if they stay with their siblings. Hi, Amakun. It's better if they stay with their kit, their kitten siblings because then they can learn what level of behavior is acceptable. Um, how to do this full time? So I'm also an artist, so I make stuff. Um, I also, you know, have other jobs that I do, but this is what I do most of the time. I don't want to, do I do bead work? No, actually I don't do bead work. Um, I don't know if I would be so patient. So it's not really luck, eyes for you. It's actually decisions that I've made throughout my life. So I worked really, 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 really hard. In fact, I worked too hard when I was younger. I became a workaholic. Um, you don't, I don't make money off of this. I don't make money off of um, kittens or cats because it's like not, 
it's not lucrative. I mean, I'm not trying to breed them. I'm not trying to make money off them. I make money off my art. And um, sometimes I do other jobs, like I do markets. And I have a store in a mall, in West Edmonton Mall, which I have a lot of my art in. Okay, time for you to go potty. Um, and um, the art's actually doing a lot better than I thought it ever would. I didn't expect it to do to be awesome and it's pretty awesome. No, I don't do sun catchers yet, but I think I'd like to learn. That would be cool. I would do cat sun catchers. I would call them sun catchers. <laughs> Everything I do is cats. So, um, and the other thing I, I did, like I've always done little kind of odd jobs. Uh, for like a long time I worked for the government and I didn't, it wasn't really good for my mental health. So, um, I, I tend to be a bit of a workaholic. I tend to work too much. When I'm working, I work a lot and it kind of uh, takes over my whole life. So right now I'm learning about balance and I'm learning you don't want to ever do too much of any one thing. That's what I'm learning. And I'm in my 40s, if you're wondering how old I am. And so I've been doing this for a while. When, when I was in my 20s, that's when I was a workaholic and that's when I worked too much and I was working basically like five in the morning to 11 at night and I was working in IT. I was working in, um, hold on. I was working in the computer industry and there's no, you know, there's no limits there. There's a lot of uh, thinking that the more you work, the more important you are. And um, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of not, that's erroneous thinking because my worth, my self-worth isn't based on what I do. Um, that's not like, you know, when you meet someone and they say, oh, what do you do? That's like the first thing everybody always says. What do you do? And it's just kind of like, well, what if I don't do anything? I tell them, I'm like, okay, so I'm, I rescue cats. And they look at me like, hmm? And then I say, well, I'm an artist. And then they're like, hmm? You know, like, unless you have like a typical nine to five job, people are like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> How do you live on that? And it's like, well, I think it's like important for me to keep balance. And when I have a nine to five job, I end up getting really swallowed up in it. I have ADHD and I'm very, I can get hyper focused on things and do it too much. And when it's work, I, I tend to do that. I have a really hard time um, moderating myself, regulating myself. Do you know what I mean? So if you go look at my um, link tree, which is on my bio, you can see the kind of art that I make. It's, it's kind of like resin stuff, painting stuff, yeah, acrylic paint. Oh, cool, Faye. I like that. I wish I want my, um, my title to be bringer of joy. That was, that was what I would aspire to be. I am a bringer of joy. You all done? You feel better? You've had your foods? You've had your potty? This is cream puff, by the way. Cream puff is a sweetheart. You're my sweetheart? They're all sweethearts. Yeah, so one thing I think I would like to do, and this is why I did this. I created in my house 
a space. So I finished my basement. I, I got it finished um, professionally and I made half of the basement a kitten room. So it's for my fosters and half of the basement an art room. So I've got two healing spaces. So my goal in life is to basically help people heal like the way I'm healing myself with art and kitten therapy. So that's like my goal. That's what I would like to do. I could, I don't know if I could teach art, but I could facilitate art. I could facilitate, you know, art therapy. And then I could facilitate pet therapy. Doesn't that sound like a good idea? Like who doesn't need that? Who doesn't need healing? Everybody has hurts. Some people have more hurts than others, but... Um, no, I have fur kids. I have fur babies. Those are my kids. Julia asked if I had kids. Okay, so I've done the two stripes, and I've done... Let's do the two... Oh my god, look at this. You guys are so funny. Little Mochi. Hi, Mochi. Would you like to have some, some yummies? Okay. How about some yummies, Mochi? Come on. Do you have kids, Julia? How old is everybody here? Is everybody here kids kids having ages? Hey, thank you, Mystic, for sharing and following. That's so cool. So when, when we get to 10,000 followers, I'm going to do a, a photo shoot. My neighbor and I are going to do a Halloween photo shoot for the kittens. And the cool thing is, you guys get to watch. It will be really funny I can guarantee you that it'll probably take a long time because these kittens are so funny cool Adamo 50 so I like just revealed that I'm in my 40s so I guess it's okay that everybody can tell approximately you don't have to tell us or your exact age but approximately age like 20s 30s 40s 24 and you have two kids, four fur babies. Oh, wow, Cassandra, you are a busy lady. That is busy. I don't think I could ever do that. <laughs> That's too much. Kids to me seem like a lot of work. I know they're rewarding and everything, but man, they're demanding. Okay, Mochi. Let's do some burps. Your kid is your orange cat. I love that. I think age is just a number. I feel like most people know that maturity isn't isn't your age. Like a lot of people who are, you know, 20 can be like so mature that they act like they're 40 or 50 because they're just like old souls, right? Or they've been through a lot and they've experienced a lot. And then there's a lot of people who are older, like maybe they're 60, and they're like acting like an 18 year old and kind of doing dumb things or something. So I don't think that age means what we think it means. Because you would expect someone who is older to be wiser, but sometimes people who are older are not wiser. And there's sometimes when people are younger are wiser than their older people. So I've learned that. Mochi! Are you having a burps? Little Mochi! My little Mochi boy! Are you my little Mochi boy? You're my little Mochi. He's watching himself on the camera, you guys. Little Mochi! You like having the burps? He's tired. Good 
Good job. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Vivi. Thanks for all the likes, you guys. We're already at 16.4K. That's crazy. You guys are awesome. Talk about taps. You guys are tapping, tapping away. Tapping like crazy. You guys are tapping queens and kings. You are the tapping crew. Okay, you're going to have to go potty now, okay? You're going to do potty time? I know. It's not your favorite, but everybody has to go. Part of life, Mochi. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. You had a lot. You were saving up, weren't you? Yeah. And one cool thing about the calendar, when we make it, you guys, I mean, the, the pictures are going to be, we're, I'm making a calendar. I'm making a kitten calendar. I make a kitten calendar every year of the kittens that I, I helped um, that year. So there's about um, half and half males and females. Sorry, Mochi's just going number two, so I have to pay attention because otherwise it becomes a huge mess. It looks like this. If you're wondering, I just have to clean him. Yeah, yeah. What is that? It's poop. I have to help them potty because they are still kittens and they don't have the um, ability to go to the bathroom on their own, so they need to be stimulated. So I'm helping Mama out because Mama is here. She is around, but for her, you know what she does? She licks she licks them and eat and then eats it. So I know it's natural, but I'm trying to help her out because she has nine babies and that's a lot. And she could probably use a break. Am I right? There we go. All done. All done. Yeah. You feel better? That was a lot of poop. She gave birth to, whoops. I would say there's five males and four females. Okay, that's my good boy. You did it. You had some yummies and you went potty. Then you gave me kisses. Yeah. He's a big sweetheart. He is a big sweetheart. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, the mama eats it. I know, it's kind of gross, but it's kind of what they do. It's nature, right? Um, I know that dogs, so I'm not a dog expert. I have no idea about dogs. I don't I do know that a lot of people's dogs eat their cat's poop. So I think dogs do eat poop. I have a feeling that they do because if they're eating the cat's poop, then they're probably eating their own poop. I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like this conversation has regressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just put Mochi down and he's already coming back. Um, they are two weeks today, Michael. Isn't that incredible? Two weeks. Two weeks today. Okay, so this one is... Maple. Hi, sweetheart. So there's a small chance that Maple is a female. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm still trying to wait and decide. I know they're two weeks already. Isn't that crazy? All right, sweetheart. Here comes some yummies. Here comes some yummies. Hold on. Oh, this is good. This is what I like. When they latch on like that, that is what we like to see. You see that? She's just drinking on her own volition. She's just drinking at her own pace. 
She's sucking that thing back. Okay, good job. Oh, good job, sweet girl. Wow, good job. Now you get a burp. And then I get to potty you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should wipe your face, huh? There we go. I you know, they're so cute. I feel so lucky. I feel so blessed. Yeah. Hey, thank you for all the, the hearts and the gifts. We already hit 20 grand. Wow, you guys. Amazing. Thank you. Wow. The cool thing about this for me and making these TikToks for you guys and us doing this together is that we're raising awareness and that's kind of one of my my purposes in life. So the mom is actually here, Sam. She's right behind me. Or not right behind me. She's right in front of me. I'm looking at her right now. And... Um, She's got nine babies, so that's why I'm here helping, because she only has six nipples. Which is why I have to be here to assist a little bit. Okay, baby. Yes, I know, you have some potty. You have some potty. I see that. Okay, you go, and I'll catch it. You go, and I catch it. Yes, I know. I know. Oh no, big mess. Big mess for grandma to clean up. Hold on. Hold on, sweetheart. Hold on. I know. You have a lot. That's good. Good job. Good job. I know. Good job. Okay, I'm just wiping you off. Cleaning you up. Cleaning you up. Do you have more? Oh boy. Do you have more for me? Where are you going? You're not done yet. Sorry, my love. I gotta clean you up. I gotta clean you up. Yeah. I can't have you dirty. There we go. Thanks for sharing the live, you guys. It's really awesome, it really helps. Thank you, thank you. Okay, are you all done? Do you need some lovings? Do you need some lovings? Hi, hi. All the hearts, you guys are so amazing, I already hit. 24k hearts wow um so i'm in edmonton alberta you guys this is in canada where are you from where's everybody from here <laughs> now she's happy she had a good feed and she had a good poop now she's happy now she's ready to go take on the world. Ooh, Sweden, Calgary, Ontario, Scotland. Cool. I love it. Everybody, we're from all over. Oh, Lorraine's from Edmonton. So me too, Lorraine. Miami and Europe, Montenegro, Perth, Australia, Finland, Quebec. Texas, cool. Cool, you guys, Vancouver. Okay, who do we have here? I think we got you next. Did you just go? Hold on, yeah, it's you. So, nope, this one actually. So now we have, this one is pumpkin pie. Hi, Ma. hello, honey. Oh, we have Canada, Toronto, Timmins, Ontario, Dallas. Oh, wait, no, that's at Dallas. Oh, oh, they all want to be held. Okay, 
Okay, okay, I told you all. Okay, okay. I know. I want to just hug them all because they're wanting attention and Mama's not here. Mama went to go eat or rest. Oh no, she's in the litter box. Okay, come back here. I'm feeding you pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie thinks he's getting away. And he's not getting away. Okay. Alright. Okay, time for some yummies. Good job. Good job. You're okay, Mochi. You already had your yummies. There's nine babies here. They're looking for their mom. Mom just went out to go to the litter box. So who's the smallest? Um, Maple. Maple is the smallest, so she's the one we just fed. Yeah, nine babies. Isn't that crazy, lady? You guys, mommy will be right back. Mommy is busy making very stinky poops. Okay. Okay, good job, pumpkin pie. Good job. A little burping. I don't know. We don't know who the father is because these kittens are all, um, the mama was a stray, so she's a rescue cat. I'm not sure who the father is, but must be gray, right? Okay, I'm sorry, but mama just did a really stinky litter box poop, so I've got to go and clean it really quick. You guys, babysit the kittens for me, okay? Oh, mama, that was intense. Mama, whoa, mama, let me help you. Okay, you guys, I can't get up when you're all over my legs. You have to, you have to just let me out. I have to go clean the litter box. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, mama, that's something. Whoa, that's intense. No, 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 you're okay. They're all right. They're just being fussy. I know you don't like that, but it must be done. Do you want to go see the babies? Please don't go in where I sit. She did. She decided to go sit where I sit. That's okay. I'll just move. Mama's there. Go see Mama. vocal no kidding the light one is um male that one is mochi and he's male hi mama i'll be right there i'm coming i'll come and help you i'll come i'm not done yet i can come help you nope they're not spoken for you can definitely adopt them though the adoption the adoption forms will be ready in a few weeks. Um, but you have to come to Edmonton, Alberta. So that's the only caveat. Um, I don't ship cats and I won't ship cats. 
also, you have to come here in order to adopt them. That's the rule. So, if that's something you can do, great. If not, I recommend that you go find a, a local rescue and ask them if they have any, which they will, have kittens to adopt. Hi, Mama. Oh, you want to be held? Okay. So this is what happens. Mama wants attention. I think I still have to potty pumpkin pie. And then I've got two more gray ones to feed. Okay, are you done getting some loves? Hmm? Okay, you wanna go out? There you go. All right. Where's pumpkin pie? Here he is. Okay. So let's see. I can move this so I can see any kind of comments. I gotta get a better um, phone holder thingy. Oh, whoops. Okay. So. They are so big. They're like almost 300 grams. I know, I know. You're okay. You're okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, who's next? Strudel. Where are you, Strudel? There we are. Hi. Hi, Strudel. Thank you for sharing, you guys. Okay, Mama, let me get some before you drink it all. There we go. Hi, Strudel. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Fanny. Thank you, Sammy. Thanks for sharing, you guys. Thanks for sharing the live. That actually really helps. Helps um, the algorithms and everything. Appreciate that. <laughs> and thank you, Tracy. Thanks for liking the live. It's also really, really helpful. Have a little bit more. Good job. Good job, my little strudel. 
my little strudel girl. Are you my little strudel girl? Okay, time for a little burp. Caramel was actually um, given to me by, there was a whole neighborhood of people who were trying to help her and take care of her. Um, and they'd been feeding her for six months or so, I guess, and um, maybe three months, I don't know. But all I know is that she had her babies underneath somebody's porch, underneath their patio. Thank you, Sadia. And um, they, they helped her. Everybody was feeding her. She would go like door to door eating food from people in this neighborhood. And then um, they caught all the babies and they found them homes and then by the time they caught mama she was already pregnant again and they knew that she couldn't have her babies outside because they'll die because it's i'm sorry they'll they'll become unalive because um they're they're so little right they're not and we have really really bad winters here it's like really cold so basically we can't have animals outside or they just won't make it so um they called all the shelters they called all the rescues and nobody had room for her so they called me because they know that i take special care of mamas and um my neighbor actually called me and said like look i know these people and they have this cat and i'm at their house right now and what do we do and i was like well so i went to just see her i wasn't gonna take her because i was on a break from from fostering i wasn't affiliated with a rescue i was taking a break but i couldn't say no because she was just so big she was so pregnant you guys she was ready to pop she was like looked like a watermelon on sticks and so i decided to take her in because i wasn't gonna let her have her babies outside and then them risk the risk the not not making it you know so i took her in and i'm so glad i did because she's just like such a sweet cat she's really 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 affectionate and she's loving and she's been such such a joy to take care of. She's so um, kind and loving to her baby. She's actually really easy. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. She's been very easy to be, to have. She's a very good guest, let's just say that. All right, we're gonna see if you need to go potty, okay, honey? All right, let's see. I know, I know. A little bit of potty time, never hurt anybody. You're going to feel better afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, Chi, what are you doing? Oh, you got some poops? Okay. You go poops. Good job. I know. <laughs> yeah, she's not just in a warm place. This is like the best place that a mama cat could have babies. I have everything that you could ever imagine for mamas and babies. I even have like a kitten room. I have all sorts of enrichment for them. Um, I have all sorts of like ways that they can grow and um, I've got like exercise kitten wheels. It's a very um, special place for mama, mama cats and their babies. So I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and um, these babies don't shed, and the mama actually really hasn't shed either, which I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised that they're not shedding at all, but 
Maybe, maybe babies don't shed, I don't know. I never really paid attention to that. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Who's that? Oh my goodness, there's a little baby in here. There's no breed. They're just rescue cats. These are just rescue cats, so we don't know what breed they are. Um, they're probably a mixture of a whole bunch of different cats. Oh, I've got one more, and that's this one. I have to hurry because in 10 minutes I have an online appointment. And I've got to go to that, so this, this live will end in 10 minutes. So I'm doing the last feeding here. This is um, Strudel. Strudel is very hungry, clearly. Good job, sweet girl. Okay, Mochi. Simply Liz. Thank you. Yay. Yay for the finger hearts. You're awesome. Strudel is um, so quiet. She's very gentle. She's really, really sweet. She's, I, I, I don't know that I ever hear her really yelling. She's just very, very sweet and calm. This is her. She's a really sweet, sweet-hearted cat. Okay, so let's see if we can do a little quick potty. Oh, that was your burp. I felt that. Okay, hold on, honey. I know. I know, sweetheart. Okay, we'll do this this way. Yeah. Good, good job. That's a good potty. Wow, that's a lot of potty. And I think maybe because she... Oh, wow. You guys, we got 50% of the goal completed. 80% of the goal completed. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Simply Liz, you're just making my goal! Oh wow! Oh wow! Simply Liz, you just made my finger heart goal happen. You gave me a hundred finger hearts. Thank you! That was really sweet. That was really sweet. You just made my day. Thank you. I got to hear the like the yelling and stuff. That was so cool. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Aw, you guys are awesome. I'm so lucky to have you guys here. It's so much more fun doing this with you guys. You know, what is, oh, this is personal? Yeah, I know. It's, it's because they have to go potty and you have to help them. They're not able to do it on their own. But that's what it is with kittens, you know? 
This is little Strudel. This is my little Strudel cat. She's a sweet girl. She's got a little tiny voice. Well, it's on live because Kendra, this is real life. I'm trying to show people what it's like to foster and to take care of cats. And I don't want to sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna just show you the fun stuff. I'm gonna show you all of it. I'm gonna show you the good, bad, and the ugly because it is sometimes kind of ugly. Like there is poop and it happens. Poop happens. You poop. I'm sure you do. And so do these cats. And so if somebody wants to foster cats, then they need to learn that it's not all glamorous. It's not all rainbows and lollipops. Kittens are amazing, they really are, but there's also things you have to do, like you have to help them poop when there's nine of them and the mama only has the capacity to take care of, you know, six. She's only got six nipples, so I'm helping her. Um, do cats get rabies? They can. It's rare, but they can, and that's why you get them um, rabies shots. So I'm gonna show you Mama. She's just right here. There's Mama. And she's really sweet. Yeah, they'll be vaccinated uh, at about three months. And these cats will all be adopted out. I'll be taking applications in a few weeks. And uh, they'll all be spayed and neutered, vaccinated and microchipped at uh, about 12 weeks. Um, nope, I'm not keeping mama because I already have my forever cats. I'm, I'm full up on my own cats. I'm just doing this to help. I just help. I'm all about helping cats. So I'm kind of like the midwife or the doula. I'm the nanny. And then mama will get adopted to a, her forever home. And um, all the babies will go to their forever homes. And then I'll probably do it again. You know? Cat Nanny Carmella. Cat Nanny Catmella, that's right. Thank you guys so much for, for joining and thank you for all of the likes. I'm so grateful. You guys are fantastic. I've got a meeting in five minutes that I've got to go and uh, get to my computer for. Um, but we did it together. We fed them all. We pottied them all. I kissed them all the time. I just love kissing them. And I rub their bellies all the time. I'm so happy that they're here. It makes me, it makes my heart happy. So I hope it makes your heart happy. Thank you for joining and thank you so much for being so supportive. I really, really am grateful for all your support and all of your likes and all of the gifts. All of the gifts go to the kittens. And um, I hope that this brightened your day a little bit and brought you some joy. And um, we'll see you guys next time. I'll try to go on a little bit later, okay? If not today, then absolutely tomorrow. I go on every day, so try to follow. And once I get uh, 10,000 followers, I'm going to do a live Halloween photo shoot of the kittens. So, we'll see you guys next time. Um, I have a gifting page. I think I do. Um, if you go to my bio, there is a um, Amazon wish list of supplies that I need for the kittens. And there's also a PayPal link. Um, so yeah, you can go there and that works. Um, but I'll be on again later today or tomorrow, okay? Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.